Okay, here's the electrics for the CNC, the controllers and the motors, they've already been wired in. The power supply, I need to hook up now to the controllers. And then we go to the diagram, which is over here. Let's see if this will show up. There's the diagram for how to wire the stuff together there. power supply is this large item here there's a positive and negative going to each of these terminals here and I'm gonna wire that up and then I gotta buy some more wire to do the uh, from the logic board that sends the signals to those controllers now to start wiring okay we've connected the wires here you can see uh, three reds and three blacks, one going to each of the controllers. The controller here, these are actually for the motors, and this is the power. And then this goes to the logic board. I'm going to have to buy some wire for that. But they're all wired up. Now to start on the logic board, this guy right here. I'm going to buy some uh, thinner wire since it doesn't have to hold the voltage of the thing. It's just going to tell the controller what to do essentially. And we'll get ready. Okay, we have the uh, computer interface wired up here with the three wires. You can see for X, Y, and Z. And then we have our uh, controllers here. The wires go into each of the controllers to receive the signal. And then obviously these are the powers. Same thing, just since you repeat on each of the various controllers. Uh, the uh, one wire on each of these controllers is looped into the other feed. Um, now I just need to verify the switch settings that are necessary on each of these controllers. Um, and the power supply, as you can see, is all powered up. I have to figure out if I need to put a switch on there or not to make this engage uh, the power to unit up, but can't do that until I figure out how to get the rest of this board here uh, operational uh, so I can uh, use it. 